terrorists seek to provoke a response that amplifies their cause. Take Hamas, for instance, launching attacks on Israel amidst budding peace talks with Saudi Arabia, all to keep the Palestinian cause in the spotlight. India, however, chose a path of wisdom and restraint after the shocking Mumbai attacks in 2008, akin to the September 11th attacks in the US. A military response could have escalated to a nuclear standoff, diverting attention to the India-Pakistan conflict over Kashmir, rather than terrorism. Instead, India's condemnation earned it recognition as a responsible nuclear power. This strategy, coupled with the global financial crisis, helped India grow its economy to $3 trillion while Pakistan's dwindled. Restraint also allowed India to align with the US in the war on terror, further isolating Pakistan. The UN's designation of lashkar e taiba as a terrorist group in 2010 kept the spotlight on Pakistan's duplicity. The Balakot strikes were significant, signaling to Pakistan that terrorism has consequences without escalating to full-scale war. It's evident that strength isn't just about forceful responses, but also well-planned, deliberate moves. The goal should always be to outmaneuver a rival while maintaining a credible threat of force. And so, India's restraint post, the Mumbai attacks, exemplifies the power of strategic patience in the face of provocation.